Welcome to Drosh Studio. Today we're going to learn about vector planes so we can create planes at incline or decline. Let's get started. When we draw in three dimensions, x is width, z is depth, and y is height. If there is a line at an angle to those three dimensions, it is a vector. So a plane that moves at an angle to x, y, and z would be a vector plane. These planes are often referred to as an incline or decline plane in perspective because they travel up and down from the horizon line, but we'll refer to them as vector planes. To draw vector planes, let's start with a simple box, but then we'll open it to create box flaps as vector planes. Let's make a vector plane from the left side of the box. We need to draw a vertical line through the object's vanishing point. This is essentially a vertical horizon line. We put a vertical vanishing point on it to converge our vector planes to. To finish the vector plane, I choose how long it is by drawing a line that goes to the x vanishing point. The sides of the vector plane will move up in space, so they go to the vertical vanishing point. But the end of the flaps will still aim towards the flat horizon line. Let's make another box flap on the front plane angling down. Your instinct is to pick a point low on the vertical horizon line to converge the vector plane to, and then finish it off with a z-line to the horizon. But something looks off with this vector plane. Remember the principle of convergence. If parallel lines move away from us, they converge at a point. But if they move towards us, they diverge or get farther apart. But this vector plane moves towards the viewer in space, so the lines shouldn't converge, they should diverge. To do this, we draw another vertical horizon line from the other vanishing point, and pick a vertical vanishing point above the object. Then we project the lines down through the corners of the box so they come towards the viewer and diverge. Then finish off the edge with a z-line to the horizon. Let's do another vector plane on the right side. To make it angling up towards the viewer, we will pick a vertical vanishing point low on the opposite vertical horizon line and diverge the lines up and then finish with a line to the x vanishing point on the horizon. Now we can do the last box flap on the back. It will move down and away from the viewer, so it will converge to a point low on the right vertical horizon line, and finish with a line to the z vanishing point on the horizon line. The key to understanding whether a vector plane is converging or diverging is to decide if it moves closer to the viewer or farther away. We could change this front vector plane to move it away from the viewer by simply converging the lines to the right vertical horizon line. The direction and angle of the vector planes are totally up to you, and all depend on where you put the vertical vanishing points on the vertical horizon line. But what if we have multiple objects that we want to draw vector planes to? If I draw a vector plane for the blue box, I would make a vertical horizon line through the vanishing point of the blue box, and converge lines to a vertical vanishing point. But to draw a vector plane on the red box, the vertical horizon line must go through the red box's vanishing points. This shows us a simple rule we need to follow. Each vertical horizon line must go through the vanishing point of the object the vector plane belongs to. To do vector planes in one point perspective, there is one slight difference we need to understand. In one point, x and y lines are parallel and perpendicular to the horizon line, and only z lines move in perspective. If a box flap opened sideways on the x-y axis, it wouldn't be moving away in space, so it would be flat to the viewer. This means we simply pick an angle for the front line of the vector plane, and the back line would be parallel to this angle. The top of the vector plane would be moving away from the viewer, so it would be a z-line going to the one-point vanishing point. A vector plane going down on the other side would be the same, with front and back parallel lines and a z-line for the top. But if a box flap opened on the zy axis, it would be moving in space. This means we need a vertical horizon line through the one point vanishing point and a vertical vanishing point to converge lines to. The end of the flap is moving on the x axis and would be parallel to the horizon line. We can pick another vertical vanishing point to diverge lines coming towards the viewer too. This might seem complex at first, but it's all based on memorizable rules. Keep practicing until it becomes second nature. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to go to drosh.com for more information on these topics and many more. If you want to see more videos like this, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.